previously on the road to Loretta's. The neat thing about Loretta Lens is you really can't luck into the championship. I mean, you have to earn your right to even be there. It's the only professional amateur event. It's hands down by far the, the best amateur race in the world, no doubt. But when you go to Loretta's, you know you got the best 40 guys in the world racing. So it was pretty much to win Loretta's, you was the best in your class. And let me tell you, the world will be watching. Everybody who's done anything in Supercross, myself, Ricky Carmichael, Jerry McGrath, all these guys came up through Loretta's. It's the biggest, the best, most pristine amateur national in the world. If you want to get on the radar of amateur motocross, this is the place to be. This is the proving ground, because if you win here, you beat everyone. And I think that's what makes this the crucible of amateur motocross. It does not get any more competitive than Loretta Lynn. Motocross is one of the most demanding sports on earth. To reach the pinnacle, riders must push their bodies to the limit, a fact Jesse Nelson has come to know all too well. Jesse Nelson, we're here in Paso Robles, California, just uh, getting ready for Loretta Lynn's um, biggest race of the year. A national standout since the age of four, Nelson has developed a love-hate relationship with Loretta's. I've never had really any luck at Loretta's, except one year, 2006. I won both titles, and that was the last time I was out there winning. And I've, I've had wins at Loretta's, I've had lots of wins, I just, I've never got any overalls except that one year. I mean, I've got tons of seconds and thirds and crashes and DNFs. There's Jesse Nelson shaping up to be a serious battle right here for the championship. And now problems for Nelson as he goes down. I know this is my last year coming into it, and I'm putting the time, and it's time to make it or break it. Jesse will turn pro following Loretta's, and is hoping to rekindle the magic he found in 2006. These long rides on the bicycles in the gym, it pays off. And 20 minutes may not sound like a long time, but bringing all your gear back in the heat of Tennessee in the summer, community, and all that plays in is one hellhole, and uh, gotta be ready for it. To me, it's not a sport, it's a lifestyle. I do it because I want to win. Uh, I'll do whatever it takes. Jesse's training will soon be put to the test as he prepares to travel north for his first area qualifier. Meanwhile, in Texas, Matt Bichelia hopes to return from injury in time for the final qualifier. We are uh, at my house in Weatherford, Texas. We're just uh, loading up and loading up gear and loading up bikes, getting ready to go to the uh, last area qualifier for Loretta Lynn's in Arkansas. A crash earlier in the year left Bichelia with a shattered tibia. With time running out, Matt is hoping his decision for an early return will pay off. We're going back to the last ditch effort to get into Loretta's this last area qualifier this weekend to get to my regional and, uh, you know, hopefully it goes good. Back in California, Jesse's hoping to turn his luck around at Loretta's. But first, he'll have to make it through the Northwest Area Qualifier. Winning's definitely gotten a lot harder than it has in the past. I mean, I remember being in the B class, just racking up races and uh, titles. Going to the A class, I mean, it's, there's a whole bunch of people in there. And, like, they're all so talented and fast. Taking on the best the Northwest had to offer, Nelson qualified in dominating fashion, winning every moto of the weekend. Hangtown, for me, went really well, I thought. I was fired up. I was ready just to go out and do some riding. And it's one of those days, like, you, just, you have a good day. Didn't think about it. I just hopped on the gate, and I was just like, let's go. That's where I shine. It's the super rough stuff, and where it has longer motos. And at the end of the moto, people are getting tired, and I can start going to the front. Jesse's convincing win at Hangtown put him one step closer to his goal. But the real test is about to begin. Now ready to get out of here. Head off to Washougal, get a top four, qualify for Loretta's, and uh, put my head down, do some work, and uh, I'm ready. While things went well for Nelson in California, Mother Nature had different plans for Matt Bichelia in Arkansas. Pretty much rained all yesterday and all night. It's supposed to rain more today and tonight. We picked straws, there was 10 of us, but luckily uh, two of my friends, Andy Cost and uh, Austin Cox, they uh, took one for the team and they ended up having to take alternates and they uh, sacrificed one for me. But they, you know, good friends and uh, I ended up drawing eight, the last position to get in, so. Ah, uh, the weekend was good in the beginning. Practice was dry, track was pretty cool, just something new and then we got a lot and a lot of rain. So 
Yesterday we had to draw spoons for position. Got second, so I qualified. Thank the Lord. And uh, now we're now it's raining again, and we're waiting in line to get pulled out of a muddy racetrack. Adam Censorillo is one of the nation's top super mini riders. And after qualifying in Arkansas, he's back at his private facility in Florida preparing for the regional. I never want to stop. Like I'm just scared somebody's gonna somebody's gonna you know get that edge on me. And I definitely thrive off knowing that knowing that some people are gunning for me just like I'm gunning for other people. Coming up on the road to Loretta. It's all about who's the most prepared, who did their homework, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be ready. So, uh, long days, long hours is what it takes to put it in. I'm pretty confident in my speed. I, I think I can do it. And rain, shine, mud, whatever, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta throw down. It's been a challenge, but it's it's been a lot of fun. I mean, whenever I line up, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be aggressive with them, and I'm gonna race them as hard as I can, and I, I'm gonna try and beat them. It's just been one of those days, you know. You gotta work through it, and uh, this is what we do. I hope that reality sets in that uh, you're only gonna get out of what you put into it. Um, you didn't put a lot into it. It showed. Shoot. 